welcome everybody to Halo 5's Forge. Now this is not an actual Forge, this is the Forge map, uh, Pegasus. And I'm just going to be taking a quick tour of the map and just kind of getting an overall feel of everything. Just take a, a much larger look at what we could possibly have to play in on Halo 5 Forge when it does launch uh, next fall, or this fall, coming up. Uh, so let's start off here, and I'm just going to kind of wander around the outside of the map, stuff that you are not going to see otherwise. Now, do keep in mind this is very much a work in progress, and everything you see here is nowhere near the final state. You can tell that this stuff is not uh, textured the way it should be, um, nowhere near at that point yet. But uh, since I'm able to fly around this area here, as you can see, I'm hitting over this beach area. Got this nice little um, uh, creek rolling up over here. Uh, I'm thinking that this whole area is probably going to be forgeable, uh, which is exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Uh, one of the things I've actually loved well, in the past was Forge World. And I'm hoping we're going to have a lot more to play with this time around. Now, I do like the sky maps on Halo 2 Anniversary. However, they are yeah, bland and whatever else. But what can you do? I mean, you ask for one thing and then you want the next thing. It's just one thing after another. Now, there has been some talk about what Forge is actually going to bring to us this time around. And it's speculated that we are finally going to get our time of day uh, options, which we've been wanting forever. <clears throat> now... As, I, as you can tell, like I'm seeing we're going around here, the skybox here is a little glitchy. <laughs> but, like I said, this is very much a beta. And, and the fact that it functions as well as it does is amazing. Now, being that this is a beta, and the vast majority of the time, betas are probably about two to three months old uh, by the time anybody else gets to play them or they allow them to play it. So it's probably been even better by now. Now, what I'm actually looking at here, I'm actually at the other rim. You can't, I can't go any further than this. Uh, who knows what we're actually going to get in the final. Um, I'm going to go up here and see if we can't uh, get up above this. I don't think we can. Nope. This is uh, as high as we can go. But still, it offers a lot of options here for forging. Um, let's go ahead and head down here. It is a nice little cove. And... Like I said, this is a spectator mode, so I cannot get out and, like, walk around and go see stuff. And the spectator mode is a little glitchy as yet. Let's go ahead and take a look see what's in here. Uh, pretty much nothing. <laughs> um, and uh, you can get stuck on this um, very easily uh, at this time, but uh, hopefully that stuff is going to get fixed uh, later on. Uh, there's a lot to be done in uh, in the future. I mean, look at all this. Uh, like I said, this here looks like a uh, creek or a river that's going to be flowing through here. Now, one of the things I absolutely loved on Halo Reach uh, in the Forge World, they had a nice little river area that uh, flowed through the map. And I always liked that, doing races through water and everything else. Um, so hopefully we'll have that available. All right, let's go ahead and start heading back towards the actual map. Now, here is the outside of the map we've been playing on. As you see, that's where that sniper spawns. But what I want to take a look at is over here. Now, if you see uh, these bars here, now the question is, is this a window piece? Or is this like three little bar things that you can actually put up and just be it like that? Um, don't know, don't know. This here looks like a, a five by one piece. Again, take another look at these bars. And of course, we can totally expect the trees to be coming back and everything. We're gonna be able to use those as well. Now, one of the things I'm gonna show you in a little bit here uh, is actually, it's really kind of cool is that they actually have a lot more rounded pieces this time around. It's not everything is squared. Uh, the actual palette or the actual textures of these pieces is, again, nowhere near final. I can expect uh, several different palette styles of these. At least I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for Covenant, like UNSC style, possibly um, 
Forerunner style, because you know what? Nothing wrong with those Halo Reach uh, Forge maps people did. Now, something I've noticed here, look at this right here. We got this awesome new piece, this big curve piece, and I think that's pretty cool that they're actually giving us some curved pieces. And I've talked said that a little earlier, but if you've done any forging in the past, there was only like a few pieces that were curved and you kind of had to work your way around it. Now, a few of these would be awesome if it was like a small circle or different uh, sizes, uh, triangle pieces, you know, to fit those little odds and ends corners that we create on maps without having to uh, go around it and figure out how to make it work. Now, as you can see here, here is Red 2. Now, <laughs> this is also something I want to talk about. If you look in the bottom left corner, you're going to see what it says on right here because I have it paused and who I'm following. It says security. Now, something I've wanted for a while was actually ever since Halo Reach was the ability to place down custom little markers for your uh, for your little radar indicator. Now that says security. Now I know when you are online and you are playing, the Spartans are calling out stuff. They are calling out security. They're calling out uh, Red Two, Red Courtyard, etc. So that pretty much confirms. At least I'm going to count it as a confirmation that we are going to be able to place down zones and label them and then we are going to uh, uh, label them to like whatever now how many options we have I, I don't know uh, hopefully it'll expand just a little bit but uh, that's going to be a huge thing for uh, all that Spartan chatter and stuff like that you're going to want to label stuff correctly now as you can see here as you can see this is very very blue and I saw the red one over there I like the color so far. I mean, it's it's obvious. There, there is no doubt that this is a blue area. Where in past iterations of Forge, uh, you had to, had to play with lights and etc. And you you made it look bluish. But I think that's pretty much says yeah, I'm blue and you're gonna like it. Now this here is obviously some more pieces. Uh, I just like like right here as I'm showing you this this here is another curved piece and I'm really liking the curved pieces uh, like I said hopefully they'll add a bunch more now in Halo Breakout oh, I want to show you this up here um, as you can see we have numbers on stuff I don't know if that's going to be something we can just use or is this a specific piece that uh, has these numbers I don't know be kind of cool to see what we can actually do that also opens up a ton of options when we actually get into this um, into forge and halo 5 if we are able to start putting numbers on pieces <clears throat> rather than just using red one or red two or uh, you can actually label them that so it's a little easier for people to know exactly what you're talking about and where it's at now this I don't know these little columns is this uh, also another piece or an original piece or that just uh, two or three pieces put together. Um, as you can see right here in the big area, this is actually red base is what it's calling it. Um, looking over here, this is a really cool little window piece. I believe you can jump through there. I don't know for sure, but I think you can jump through and jump on the outside. Now, again, like I'm liking these pieces so far, and they are not textured anywhere near what they're going to be in the final version so it'd be kind of interesting to see what they do with that as you can see you got some more rounded pieces here this is going to be interesting I'm liking this forge already and unfortunately I have not even used it yet and hopefully it'll be a little bit more functional than the Halo 2 anniversary forge which I enjoy Anatus and but I can't even speak right now the anniversary forge However, it does have its limitations, but I totally expect that because it is vastly a last-minute thing. It's like, yeah, we can probably add Forge, and they pretty much slammed it in there at the last second. So just finally having it, I mean, having Forge period in the Master Chief collection is nice to have. 
um, okay going around through here again now here is a weapon pad obviously we can play stuff here I'm gonna try and find that rocket launcher because we were able to have rockets in this one um, again I don't think that rocket launcher is the final textures either um, <laughs> looking around so what are you guys thinking and so far of this forge tour and forge map I like it I really do I think um, uh, this time around, I think Forge is really going to start showing even more potential, uh, especially if we use, get some real game types. I mean, Halo 4, when it had Forge, it was so limited based on the options of game types and everything else, and uh, I don't think they're going to do that this time around. I think we're going to actually have some really crazy stuff to play with when we do get into this. I mean, they've already shown us Strongholds. If you've played Strongholds at all, it's very similar to um, Territories. Uh, the only difference is that you have to capture two points uh, out of the three. And if you capture the two points, uh, that's when you start gaining points. It's not like you're just gaining points continually from one, uh, from one uh, capture point. All right, go ahead and head around over here. Uh, I think we've went up here before, and this would be like I think it's calling security. Now I really like the idea, and I just kind of wondering on how much um, budget they actually used uh, in this map. I don't know if they've used a lot or it's maxed out. I wouldn't think it'd be maxed out, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out when we do get Forge info on how to use it and etc. and all the new features and everything. But I think I'm going to wrap this up here. This has kind of went on a little longer than I originally planned. I uh, hope you liked this video. And if you did, and if you're excited about Forge, please give this video a like. And, of course, a subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the Crazy Spartan, and I am out of here.